Hello. Today I would like to spend a few minutes walking you through some of the features of our Andromeda client portal. So you see here I'm already logged into a test account and working from top to bottom you'll see things like uh, your name, in this case Jeff Brello is my name, uh, ATS internal is the name of the client account, this would you would see your company name here. Uh, you'll see some contact information for who your account coordinator is, uh, their email address, as we work our way down, uh, there's an account summary that is normally collapsed, but if I expand that, you'll get an idea of how many invoices, quotes, and service tickets you have open. And then you can start seeing some of the breakdown for that. Uh, any invoices you have open will appear here. You can actually click on the link on the invoice number, and it will open up a PDF of that invoice. If you'd like to pay that, you can pay it right here directly using our secure pay portal, either by credit card or ACH check debit. Next section down you'll see some open quotations, uh, same thing, you can click on any of these to actually see a PDF of the actual quotation itself. If you are ready to move ahead with one of those you can actually click the accept button and it will actually sign off and accept that quotation and then alert your account coordinator that that has been done. That will save you the hassle of printing it out, signing it, scanning it in and sending it back over. So it's a very quick and convenient way for you to sign off on quotations and get those moving ahead quickly. Next section down is a list of service tickets that you have open. And of course, same deal with these. Uh, you get a brief description of them. You get uh, the date that the ticket was opened, and then kind of the current status. And if you click on any one of those, it will open up a little bit more of a detailed page with some more information on who requested it. Uh, if you go to this detail tab, you can see the very specific details on what work was requested to be done. If any work had been performed and time logs were created, the information would show up down here under work performed. If you'd like to send any notes over to our team, you can actually add a note here and it will update that ticket for us to see. And if I go back there, for example, let me find a little bit of an older ticket here. If I take a look at this one, and I go to the details, you'll see as people have put their notes in, uh, as they work this ticket, you get some updated information here, and that'll uh, updated in real time, so you will see that as it's happening. Those are pretty much the main highlights of the main screen. The other thing you can do from here uh, is you could actually request service, so you could open up a ticket through the portal, and that will alert our help desk that a ticket has been created, and they will get somebody working on that as quickly as possible. You can also request a quotation from here. If you open up this screen, it will populate with the information on who you are, put your phone number in here, a description of what you're looking for, and then some detailed information on what you're looking to get a quotation on, and that will get a request over to your account coordinator and get them working on that right away. So again, quick, easy way, uh, convenient way for you to communicate with your account coordinator on your needs. Come back to this home screen. Um, one of the other things up here in the summary section is the uh, your open balance. Whatever balance you have with current open invoices will show up there and then obviously the summary of the details is down there. If you want to look at some history, uh, so for example if you wanted to look at, uh, you know, this is just a summary of the service orders that are open, but if you want to look at your history of tickets, this screen will take you to pages and pages of information on old service tickets. Same thing for quotations, uh, if you want to see a list of older quotations, this uh, generally shows you things that are only uh, created in the last 30 days. If you have any contracts with us, uh, this particular account does not, but those would show up here and you can see the details of what's going on with the contracts that you have going on. So just a couple other quick things, if you wanted to go to the invoices tab here, this is basically the uh, history of all your invoices that you've had. This is uh, again an internal test account, so there's generally no invoices created, that's why they're all zero, but you would see the detailed information there and you could print out invoices if you wanted to have access to old ones. Uh, there's a general contact us just to get a, a note over to us if there's something you want us to know about. And those are the highlights and features of the client portal. Uh, we really uh, find that people find this a very convenient way to access their information, open up tickets, see past invoices, see what uh, the current status is on a ticket that's being worked. So if you do not have access to this, reach out to your account coordinator and request a username and password get set up and we will get you uh, an account created and get some more detailed directions over to you on how to use this. So I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you use our portal. Thank you.